you guys, it's TechGrand here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to multi-stream using OBS Studio plus Restream. That way you can multi-stream to multiple platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Kick, and so much more. But keep in mind, if you are using the free version of Restream, only be able to stream to two different platforms. So that might just work for you if you wanna to stream to YouTube and Twitch. But keep in mind, you will have a watermark on it. So I would recommend just getting the paid version for $16. That way you can stream to three platforms. That means you can add kick if you wanted to. It just won't put any load on your PC. But if you do want to weigh the multi-stream for free, I will have that linked at the end here. And that way you can actually multi-stream without having to pay for restream. But for right now though, let's get into it. The first thing to do is go to Restream's website, which I will have a link to down below. And once you're here, what you want to do is click on login on the top right. And once you log in, you can only log in with creating user or you can just use your google account now for me i'm gonna use my google account for my youtube to sign on in once you sign in the restream though you will get a page that looks exactly like this and what we want to focus on is the live with restream that will use obs so we're going to click on the rtmp setup and once we open this on up we will have access to this area here now keep in mind if you do have the paid version you can actually remove this watermark since i don't have it right now i'm just gonna leave it as is but i would recommend getting the paid version if you don't have a second stream pc and x this on out because it's just ugly and we don't want it but once you remove that watermark what you want to do is add two platforms so what you want to do is add a channel so for me i'm going to add my youtube and also twitch so you want to click on twitch right here and you want to just sign on in and once you authorize your twitch it should just take a second and process it and add it to one of your channels and now we would do it again add another channel we can add youtube for example here which i'm gonna do for myself and we're gonna give it authorization for that but once it's signed in your youtube it's the same thing it's gonna take a second to load and then you'll have your twitch and youtube added then you can add another platform if you want to if you have the paid version but what we can do now is actually mess with our titles and stream with restream which is kind of nice about it because you can click edit here go to your youtube you can mess with the event it's going to create a live event it's going to entitle the stream whatever you want test stream just for the time being and you can mess the description have modified however you want and that way you can do that for me i'm just going to type test stream and then it's my description you click what you want it to be public or private and you can upload a youtube thumbnail so of course we gotta do that because if you don't have a thumbnail on youtube it just looks awkward so we're gonna click on that and then with that we're good to go it fits inside of course you all have that watermark if you are using the free version but of course we won't have that when we actually stream with the paid version with that we can click save and we're good to go for our youtube stream now for twitch same thing you click on edit you can mess with your title and add the category. Since I know I will be streaming Fortnite, I could just change this to Fortnite and then I could just title it uh, test stream for the time being. But for you, you just name it whatever you want. I can name this OG Fortnite update because that's what's currently the trend right now. And once we have our two platforms ready to go, all we have to do is copy our URL. And with that URL, we want to go into OBS. And in OBS, we're going to go to settings, go into settings, go to actual stream and set our service from whatever it is. Usually defaults it to Twitch or YouTube. You wanna make sure it's custom. And when we wanna pause, paste our stream key in here, then go back to restream and then copy the stream key right here and then paste that on into OBS. And with that, we can now restream to Twitch and YouTube with restream. So let's just do it for the timing, start streaming. We're now live on YouTube, which is awesome. And if we actually check out our Twitch, we are officially live on Twitch as well. But that is how you multi-stream to YouTube and Twitch and even more with Restream and OBS Studio. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to miss some future tech content. And I recommend you watch this video next goes over how to multi-stream for free with the actual multi-stream plugin for OBS Studio. This thing is better than Restream by far and it works really well. Besides it requiring a little bit of power from your GPU, but if you have a dual PC setup, I would recommend this.